Now, one important factor I would like to discuss here about these four uh, necessities. The first three necessities discussed here, that is for growth, for replacement and for repair, takes place by a special kind of cell division called as mitosis. Okay? Mitosis, these three, the first, second and third point, they are because of the special type of cell division called as mitosis. Only the fourth one, that is for reproduction, whenever reprodu reproduction is involved, whenever formation of sex cells are involved, then it is necessary for a reductional division to occur. And the reductional division, a special kind of division method are needed for this reproduction system, the producting cells, production of the sex cells. What is that kind of cell division called as? It is called as meiosis. Clear? So, two types of cell divisions are there. One is mitosis and the other one is a reductional division that is meiosis. Clear? That we will be discussing further in the chapter. So, remember once again, growth, repair, and replacement through mitosis and reproduction through meiosis. Clear? The significance of this kind of division I will be discussing later. See here, if we talk about the number of chromosomes present in human cells, this is a very important factor, very important point not to be missed here. When we talk about human cells, I have told you in the first class that all the body cells have chromosomes but how many just look at this table kind of cells if we talk about body cells body cells whether it is a man or a woman they contain 46 chromosomes or we can also call it 23 pairs because these are in pairs so 23 pairs or can be called as 46 similarly in women it is again 46 or 23 pairs. It is also de depicted by 2n. 2n means 2 is uh, diploid. Diploid word comes from die. Die 2 means diploid. Diploid. We call it by other term diploid. But the most important thing here is to remember that how many pairs in the body cells present? 23 pairs or if you write down it's 46. The next when we come on to sex cells that is in man the sex cells are sperms and the in women the sex cells are eggs. So what happens here in uh, the sex cells of man that is the sperms only 23 chromosomes are present that means they are unpaired and the number becomes haploid that is n haploid. Here it was diploid, but here it is haploid, single, unpaired, okay, 23. This is very important point, understand it clearly. Next, again, in the egg cell, how many chromosomes? 23, that means these are single or unpaired. Again, N number, that means haploid. This is 2N, diploid, this is N, haploid, clear? Now, what is the need? Why this is so? Because after, at the time of fertilization, what will happen? The sperm cells will be fused with the egg cells. These two cells will fuse together and when they will fuse, their chromosomes will also fuse and then what will be the number again be restored? 23 plus 23, that will be 46 or the pairing will be done again. Clear? So, this 46 is unique for humans. Humans should have 46 chromosomes present in the cells. So, how it will be possible? It is only possible by the reductional division or the meiosis which I told you in the previous slide. Reproduction, in reproduction what happens? Meiosis takes place which is a reductional division. Now, here I am clearing that point which I left there that 46 of the body cells, 46 chromosomes of the body cells are divided in two and they are singling out and 23 are present in one cell only. 
clear this kind of division where a parent cell give rise to daughter cells where the number of chromosomes is reduced to half is known as a reductional division and we call it by the name of meiosis okay further again revising the same point when at the time of fertilization the sperm cell fuses with the egg cell 23 plus 23 occurs and that will give rise to 46 again that means n plus n your n and this n will again combine so n plus n normal algebra 2n so 2n 1n plus 1n 2n 2n again becomes like the normal body cells it is diploid clear to all of you so this is important point here now coming on to the cell cycle 